Osteolysis is a biological problem that affects wear because the body does not recognize the material as its own, so the body breaks down its own bone. The picture shown shows wear effects on polyethylene materials. One of the first steps is recognizing damaged polyethylene on the explant and determining whether it is cross-linked or conventional polyethylene. In RCI, we are able to know if the implant used is cross-linked polyethylene by looking at the label on the implant boxes. The picture on the left shows wear in an implant, and the picture on the right shows an implant with no wear. Polyethylene is the most commonly used plastic in the world because it is so versatile. This material is used in everyday items such as grocery bags, plastic bottles, and clear food wrap. This material is so common that less than 0.1% of polyethylene produced is used in medical devices. Crosslinking is defined as chemically joining two or more molecules by a covalent bond. This process was introduced to reduce oxidation, which affects the wear of the implant and the immune response of your body. The risks of using highly crosslinked polyethylene include fracture of the polyethylene liner, dislodgement of the liner, and possibly more osteolysis. Highly crosslinked polyethylene may be considered for younger, more active patients. One of the main concerns involving hip implants is the degradation of the polyethylene cup that serves as a socket for the joint. If debris from wear of the polyethylene enters the joint, osteolysis can occur and the weakened bone will not be able to provide enough support for the implant. Thus, the implant will become loose and unstable. Crosslink polyethylene was introduced to reduce degradation and therefore the failure of the implant. Clinical and laboratory data has shown wear rates for crosslink polyethylene are reduced by 10 to 50 percent. Due to the success in crosslink polyethylene in hips, it was also introduced in knees. In total knee replacements, the polyethylene spacer is subjected to higher amounts of contact stress than compared to the hip. This is caused by the sliding, rolling, and rotational motion of the femur. Due to these various factors, crosslink polyethylene has shown adverse effects. As a result, it is found that conventional polyethylene may be the best option due to its toughness and less reactive particle formation.